Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this uh, video, ang pag-aaralan natin ay Introduction to Radicals. So we'll have a series of topics on radicals under the College Algebra. And sisimula, sisimula natin yan with the Introduction to Radicals. Okay. Yan, Introduction to Radicals. So square root of a number. Simulan natin yung discussion on a square root of a number. If b squared is equal to a, then b is a square root of a. Halimbawa, if 2 squared is equal to 4, then 2 is the square root of 4. So, ganun lang yung tinatawag natin square root of a number. Okay. Meaning, positive square root, negative square root, the positive and negative square roots. So, ito yung mga tina, uh, symbol na ginagamit natin. Ayan. Ang symbol na ginagamit natin in determining the square root ay ito, yung radical sign. Symbol niya, ang example niyan ay square root of 9. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. Okay. Yung negative square root naman natin, ayan. Negative and then square root. Then, ang example niyan ay ne negative square root of 9 which is equal to negative 3. Next the positive and the negative square root of a number. So, ang symbol na ginagamit naman natin, ayan, ang pinagkaiba naman niya, plus or minus, or positive negative square root of. So, example natin dyan ay, positive or negative square root of 9 is equal to positive or negative 3. Radical expressions. Finding a root of a number is the inverse operation of raising a number to a power. Sa so, madaling sabi po, Kapag kinukuha po natin yung root ng number, ito po yung kabaligtaran ng operation na ginagamit natin kapag inire-raise natin ang number to a certain power. Paano po yun? For example, n square root of 9, ayan, yun po yung radical sign natin, yung, ayan, yung square root symbol or radical sign. Yung a naman, yung tinatawag natin radicand. And then n is the index. Okay, example. Yan, this symbol is the radical or the radical sign. Ito naman po, the expression under the radical sign is the radicand. The index defines the root to be taken. So, balikan natin yung finding a root of a number is the inverse operation of raising a number into a power. Let's say, for example, um, square root of 4 is the inverse of uh, 4 square root of 2. Hindi sila equal, sorry. Ayan. Inverse, kabaligtaran. So, yung pagkuha po natin ng root ng number, again, is the inverse of raising a number to a certain power. Okay, again, itong symbol po na to is what we call the radical sign or the radical. Yung expression sa loob ng radical sign, ang tawag po natin doon ay radical. At yung uh, the root to be taken or kung ilang beses mo kukuha yung root, yun naman po yung tinatawag natin index. So, meron pa tayong mga terminologies na ginagamit. Ayan. Square root. One of two equal factors of a given number. The radicand is like the area of a square and the simplified answer is the length of the sides of the square. So, parang ganito lang. Yung square root po natin, halimbawa, ang area ng ating square ay 49. Ayan. 49 ang area ng ating square. 49 square meters. Okay. Para makuha daw natin, Yung square root, okay, kukunin po natin yung dalawang factor na ginamit natin sa square. And that is 7. 7 times 7 is simply equal to 49. So, the radicand is like the area of a square. And the simplified answer is the length of the side of the answer. So, that is 7. So, that means the square root of 49 is, is equal to 7. So, ganun po yung pagkuha natin ng square root. Or, isip tayo ng, sa madaling salita, isip tayo ng dalawang number na magkamuka na kapag pinag-multiply natin, ang sagot are 49. Principal square root. The positive square root of a number, the principal square root of 9 is 3. So, pag sinabi po natin principal square root, ito po yung uh, positive square root of a number. Halimbawa, the square root of 9 is 3, then the 3 is the principal square root of 9. Yung negative square root naman is the negative square root of 9, which is negative 3, which is shown like, and is shown like, ayan. Okay. 
again, halimbawa, the, the negative square root of 9 is negative 3. The principal square root of 9 is positive 3. So, ganun lang po yun. Next, the radical. The symbol radical, which is red, the square root of the square root of a is called a radical. Ayan. So, radical naman is the number or expression inside a radical symbol. So, sa case natin kanina, dun sa, is, uh, uh, what do you call this? Square root of 9. Ito, sa square root of 9, balikan natin, square root of 9, 9 is the radical. Okay. Perfect square. A number that is the square of an integer. Okay. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. are perfect square. Or, sa madaling sabi po, when we talk about perfect square, these are the numbers na ang meron siyang factor na magkamuka. Okay. For example, 7 times 7 is 49. 6 times 6 is 36. Ayan. So, 1, ang factor niya, 1 times 1, si 4, 2 times 2, si 9, 3 times 3, si 16, 4 times 4, si 25, 5 times 5, and so on. Tawag natin sa kanila ay perfect square. Okay, ayan. Example natin dito sa principal square root ay square root of 9 which is equal to 3. Dito naman po, sa negative square root, square root of negative 9 is equal to negative 3. Ayan, dito naman po sa radical, square root of 3, automatic, the, the 3 is the radical. Ayan. Square root. A square root of any positive number has two roots. One is positive and the other is negative. So, meron po tayong dalawang root of a positive number. Una po ay positive, the other one is negative. If a is positive then, positive number then, the square root of a is the positive principal square root of a and negative square root of a is the negative square root of a. Example. The square root of 100 is equal to 10. Square root of negative square root of 36 is equal to negative 6. Square root of 1 is equal to 1. Ayan. So, ganun lang po yung square root of, a, of any positive number. So, dalawa po yung roots niya, automatic. Uh, yung positive or the principal root and the negative square root. Square root of negative 0 0.81 is negative 0 0.9. Square root of negative 0 0.9. Eh, sorry, negative 0 0.9. Square root of 25 over 49 is simply 5 over 7. Ayan. Later on, hindi discuss po natin yung simplifying radicals para mas madali nyo siyang maintindihan. Square root of negative 9 is non-real. So, ang pag sinabi po natin negative square root, ibig sabihin po nun dapat nasa labas yung ating negative. Pag nasa loob po yung ating negative, wala po tayong real roots. So, not uh, yung root natin, it is not real. Okay. What does the following symbol represent? Ayan. So, the symbol represents the positive or principal root of a number. So, what is the radicand of the expression 4th root of 5xy? Sabi natin, radicand is the expression inside the radical sign. So, <clears throat> that means, ang radicand natin in this uh, question is 5xy. What does the following symbol represent? Negative square root. Yan. The symbol represents the negative root of a number. So, what is the index of the expression? O, index po yung particular root na hinahatap natin. So, cube root. So, that is 3. Okay. What numbers are perfect square? Okay. Ano po yung mga numbers sa perfect square natin? We have 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. 2 times 2 equals 4. 3 times 3 equals 9. 4 times 4 equals 16, 5 times 5 equals 25, 6 times 6 equals 36, 49, 64, 81, hanggang, uh, and so on and so forth. Perfect square natin, on the other hand, ay ito na po sila, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169, 196, 225, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's try to simplify this one. So, this is very simple. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 100 is 10. And the square root of 144 is 12. Okay, kita-kita po tayo sa next lesson natin on radicals, which is simplifying 
radicals. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.